For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a calculator to evaluate expressions with square roots and other roots. So let's start off with a square root example. So here we have the square root of 49. Now if we want to evaluate that on our calculator, we need to use the function that's right here. So if you see that, there's a blue square root symbol there. Now in order to get to it, we need to hit second, because it's the blue button, and then hit this x squared button, and that'll get us to the square root. So now as you can see up here, we have square root and then a parentheses. So now we just need to fill in the number that we have in the square root. So for us, we have 49. And now that that's all we have in the square root, we'll close it to parentheses. So now if we want to find out what the square root of 49 is, we just need to hit enter. Now as we can see, that's 7. Now let's find out how we could evaluate a different root. For example, a cubed root. So here we have the cubed root of negative 27. Well in order to do that, we can't use the same square root symbol we did before. But what we can do is we could go to math, and if you see here, the fourth option is a cubed root. So we could go down to that and hit enter. So now we have the cubed root symbol up here. Now we just need to plug in negative 27 and then close the parentheses. And then now hit enter. So here we can see that the cubed root of negative 27 is negative 3. Now what if we need to use another root? Say a 5, 6, or 10. How can we do that? Well, we'll see with this next example. So here with example 3, we need to find out what the 6th root of 64 is. Well, again, if we go to math, the 5th option down here, you could see that there's an x before the square root symbol. Well, what that means is we could put in whatever number we want, and it'll evaluate that root. So for example, if we want to do the 10th root, we'd put in 10 and then go to that fifth option. Well for us, we need to do the sixth root of 64. So we'll go back and we'll put in six because we want to do the sixth root. And now we'll go back to math and go to that fifth option and then hit enter. So now we have the six and then the x and the square root symbol. Well now we're doing the sixth root of whatever number we put in. So in parentheses, let's put in 64. So now we're going to evaluate the sixth root of 64 and then hit enter. Now as we could see, the sixth root of 64 is 2. And that's how you could evaluate square roots as well as other roots on your calculator.